Katie and I'm here to look at port forwarding and DDNS setup. We know some apps can't be used immediately, so here are some of the most common setup queries we get asked. Port forwarding is used for any inbound connections on a device that's being accessed remotely and runs specific functions like NAT. CCTV and VoIP are some of the most commonly used apps. And as there are 65,535 ports in total used for a variety of different purposes, finding out how many and which ones you need is the only real challenge when setting them up. First, you need to find the port forwarding settings in your modem. Open a web browser on a hardwired computer and go to 192.168.0.1. Log in using the details on the back of your modem. Go to basic, then port forwarding, then click enable and start adding your rules. Ensure any public port ranges match the private ones unless otherwise specified. There are a few preset common applications you can use, but if you want to set up your own, that's fine. Just leave the most common applications set to services. And once all the configurations have been applied, the app should work. Although port forwarding is more commonly used, there's also DDNS. It's designed for customers who don't or can't have a static IP but need their IP to stick. For example, if you have an email server that consistently needs the same IP to send its data to, any ongoing changes to that IP would normally need configuring. DDNS does this all for you automatically. Before you start, depending on your setup, you might need to apply a port forwarding rule. Firstly, you'll need to register with a provider as DDNS requires a program for it to function. There's plenty of free services that can be found through any search engine. When you've found a suitable one, log into the router by going to 192.168.0.1. Go to admin, then DDNS, Enter the details given by your provider and the desired IP, and you're ready to go. However, for security reasons, DDNS is not recommended for use in high traffic scenarios or security control data. We strongly recommend you research your reasons for using it and only apply when absolutely necessary. I hope this has helped. If you need anything else, why not check out our help and support pages or for more information, talk to us on live chat.